So you want to learn the basics of swing dance. If you want to learn the basics of swing dance, the Jitterbug is a great place to start. Now whether you're learning to dance for a wedding or a cruise ship or just a night on the town, with just a few simple moves, we're going to help you look good and feel confident on the dance floor. What's up, gang? My name is Brian B. I'm Miss Megan. From Social Dance Online, and we love teaching people to dance. So, the basics of swing dance. There's a lot of different swing dances. There's East Coast Swing and West Coast Swing and Shag and Lindy Hop. But the Jitterbug, this is the Jitterbug, or single time swing, the term jitterbug was kind of used as a slang term in the 30s and 40s for people who did swing dancing, and this is the easiest form of swing dancing. So we're going to teach you the basic first, then we're going to go through some steps. So the basic move, the basic step, left foot is always free for the leaders, the guys, and the right foot's free for the followers. So we're going to step to the side for slow, replace slow, then we're going to do what we call a rock step, rock, replace. So we're going to go for the leaders, left, right, left, right, or slow, slow, quick, quick, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, or slow, slow, quick, quick. So practice that for the followers, the ladies. Followers, we're using our right foot first. We're going side, side, rock, step, side, side, rock, step, or slow, slow, quick, 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 quick slow, slow, quick, quick. So that is the basic pattern. You're gonna use that underneath. It's just gonna be like an automatic pilot. Now we're gonna take our hands. Leaders are gonna go underneath. Followers are gonna go on top. We have a little bit of tension away. So a little bit, if you leaned away just a little bit, kind of get used to that, maybe even a little towards. So you get a little sense of feeling between your partner. Now, I'm going to my left and the followers are going to their right. So we go slow, slow, rock step, slow, slow, rock step, slow, slow, rock step, slow, slow, rock step. That's our basic, right? So we'll practice that one more time, then we're gonna add our first term. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. Now from here, we've got a couple of branches to the tree, and if you've ever seen people out at the bar and they swing their partner Whee! around, even with no lessons or without a cool YouTube video, they're learning what we call an outside and inside turn. So the outside turn, we're gonna practice this, what we call baby steps. Don't worry about the forward. Leaders, I'm gonna take this hand up, Swing it over my partner's head. Now I'm gonna take this hand and pull it in between and pull her back in. Now the rules of the game are, she's not going under her arm, because that's her leading her own turn. I wanna take this up and outside of her head, around her head like a halo. That's my outside turn. So if we did that, let's demonstrate it once and we'll show you how to do it. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, right? Now you're gonna notice my hand's gonna get on top. Let's talk about that in a second. As we go slow, slow, quick, quick, when I want to lead this turn, I take this hand up so my fingers shift to this side so I can curl this around Megan's head for slow, slow, quick, quick. Now you're going to notice this hand's on top. This is going to create a natural inside turn as I pull it back. Slow, slow, quick, quick. So let's do that one more time. We'll have Megan talk to the footwork a little bit. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick. Can you talk them through a little bit of the footwork to make that happen so yep. I look good? Oh. That's the goal. I okay. want to look good. All right, so we have our basics. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Followers, our right foot is pretty much going to go straight forward. We are going to turn around on that foot to go backward onto our left foot and then rock back. Quick, quick. From here, we're going to turn our first step for turn back, side, and rock step. Let's look at it from the other side just in case that might help add a little it bit of fun might. to it. So we have slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. So already we have three moves, right? We take our partners two different ways to start. You can start this way in two hand hold, or you can start in what we call closed hold. Closed hold is just gonna be this hand underneath her um, armpit there. She's gonna lay that hand right on me. Here's your basic of dancing. I'm always gonna be slightly offset to my partner. Never eye to eye, nose to nose, but just a little bit offset. So whether I'm here in my closed position, right? I can do my basic there, or I could slide down to my open position. I'm still always looking over Megan's right shoulder. She's looking over my shoulder. So from here, we could even do a basic and closed, sliding down, outside turn, followed by the inside turn. So already you've got enough stuff to impress people, but we're not gonna stop there. We're gonna do what we call the infinity loop where we're gonna just keep going through and it's gonna look really cool and all you have to do is learn one move and it will just continually look cool. So what's gonna go on for that infinity loop? So we go slow, slow, 
quick, quick. So leaders, forget about the footwork. I want you to pick this hand up for a second and walk towards this one. I'm gonna walk towards that and take that over my head and pick up on the other side. So we do that again. Take this hand up and I'm gonna walk towards this hand that I'm gonna put it on my waist. She's gonna drag that hand around and I'm gonna find it on the other side, right? Let's do that one more time. So pick this hand up, over, slide it down, we're halfway home. So how do we do that with footwork? We're gonna go slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. Let's try that one more time. And then we'll get to the other half. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. So we pick up this hand. Now if I pull her back through, that's the inside turn where I pulled this through. We go slow, slow, quick, quick, and we've got both hands. So let's look at that slowly. We have slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. Now I'm gonna pull this hand through and I'm gonna drape, this is gonna slide along Miss Megan, slow, slow, quick, quick. So I can pick it up on the other side. We'll look at it that from this way. We call this the infinity loop. There's a bunch of different names out there. It's just one that we sort of made up. We adopted from a different dance style, but it's a cool move. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. And you can go on and on. So right now we have our basic slow, slow, quick, quick. We have an outside turn. We have an inside turn. We can add another basic in between. We can go into our affinity loop the first half and the second half. Now we'll do it again. And already you're looking cool, but don't worry, we're gonna give you a couple more moves, including a dip and then some other resources that I think will help you look good on the dance floor. So another version of this infinity loop, if I didn't keep this hand, we call this a leader's breakthrough. So just with my left hand, same idea, I just dive this hand over and pick it up on the other side. Same footwork as the infinity loop, so again, we go slow, slow, quick, quick. I let this hand over. I like to kind of reach it through to remind me that I'm going that way. I'm pulling this towards me to get Megan to go past me. Slow, slow, quick, quick. We pick that up on the other side. This hand's on top, so that means we're gonna pull it through. Slow, slow, quick, quick. And right now, we're kind of staying this way for you in the camera, but wherever this goes, don't worry about it, right? You don't have to stay forward and back. What I mean by that is, if I go off this direction, it's just less good for you to see on the camera, but it doesn't matter where I go. So that is the leader's breakthrough. Now, what happens if we keep both hands and pull Miss Megan in? We get a cuddle. A cuddle. So you've seen this at the bar, people dancing. Maybe they had a lesson. Maybe they saw this YouTube video. Maybe not. But if I keep both hands and I pull Megan in for an inside turn, I get this cuddle position, right? We're going to look at it from the other side. So. We like to call, what's our way to practice this? What do we call it, Miss Baby Megan? steps. Baby steps, where we don't worry about the footwork. We just take little steps. Leaders, I'm gonna take this hand, pull it through, and I'm gonna pull her right to this cuddle position. Then I'm gonna open this hand up and use my right forearm to send her back out. So with baby steps, pull that left hand through, guys, and then lift that left hand up and send her back out. That is the cuddle and return, let's call it. Okay. Right, so we go slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, right? And we can go back to our basic fix the hands. Let's do it one more time and we'll talk about a mistake that happens in the cuddle where the followers come out too early. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. Now what's the mistake in here with the cuddle that you see, I see it? Uh, followers, we tend to come out too early so we have slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, Quick, quick, and it all, a lot of the followers want to turn on that first slow, which messes up their footwork some. So I'm gonna help that. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. Don't forget this rock step. When we rock step, I'm gonna exaggerate so you can see. I need to allow Megan to rock step. So as Megan rocks back, my arms allow her to go back. I don't hold her so rigid that she can go and rock back. She can't rock back and you get this forearm and it shiver to the back. Out early. So I want to allow this to go back and then I'm going to help her go out. Slow, slow, quick, quick. I'm going to send her out. I open this window. It's not a turn yet. I step her forward. I use this hand to step her forward. Now she pops out quick, quick. So we do it again. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. Awesome. So now we have, we've got one more cool move for you. You're going to need this to really impress people. 
But let's quickly go through what we have so far. We have our basic, and we have an outside turn, followed by an inside turn. Let's do it again. We have our basic, followed by an outside turn, followed by an inside turn. Then we have a basic into our infinity loop. We go through, pick up the hand, do it again. If we got there once, we might as well do it twice. Quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. Now from our basic, we're gonna just readjust in the camera for you. Now we have the leader's breakthrough where I go through, I don't keep the hand. Same as the infinity loop. Quick, quick, I just break through. Quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. A little bit more readjustment for the camera. The next one is the cuddle. I pull this hand through, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. Let's do it again. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. So now I'm gonna do this facing the camera first, then I'm gonna teach it to you backwards because it's gonna be easier to learn. But facing the camera, so you can see, oh, I'm facing the camera this way. Oh. Slow, slow, quick, quick. We're gonna roll her in, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. We're gonna pull her in to a dip, back up into our basic. So that is our cuddle to a dip. It's a pretty fun move. So we're gonna teach it to you facing backwards so you can kind of align yourselves. It's easier for the leaders to learn this way. So we have our basic. We already know how to pull her into a cuddle. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Now before we send her out by taking this hand up and over to send Megan back out, right? I don't wanna do that. I wanna roll her out. We use this for wedding couples who have to dance in front of people with very little time. Maybe like you trying to learn this and go out in the town. Quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. So from here, I'm just gonna walk in place as she rolls out. I'm gonna let go of this. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Now, I don't care about the fork. I'm just gonna kinda a little bit of a lawnmower with this hand, pull her in to pick her up to do the dip. Now don't do the dip. I'm gonna tell you how to do it. Don't mess it up. Don't drop her. Bad news, but let's get there. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. I let go of this hand. I'm gonna roll her out with this hand. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Now while she's on that left foot, I'm just gonna pull this hand ever so slightly back and I might move my feet just to pick her up. And by pick her up, this is what I mean. When I roll this hand in, she starts turning in. I wanna be able to pick up her back, take both hands, to pick her up. If we look at it from the other way, as I roll her in, I'm just gonna pick this hand up and then this hand up here. And I want my left foot free so I can do the dip, right? So we'll show that one time from this direction. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, we pick her up. I leave my left foot free, I take the dip, put her back up. I wanna put her on this foot, so I'm gonna put her on that foot, and then we can go quick, quick, back into our basic. Can you talk from the front, Miss Megan, mm -hmm. about what's gonna help that dip for the followers? Uh, followers, once we get into this position, uh, whatever you do, make sure that you keep your hips up as they take you into this dip. So as we go back, hips are gonna stay up, and then follow the lead back to this foot. And here's what I mean by hips up. If you hold on to each other, and you take your hips away, you get heavy Ooh, fast. You're doing right? that. <laughs> heavy fast, boom, right? You can see that, that's my hips going away. I'm, I'm bigger than Megan. If I take my hips forward, I can create some sort of a dip with very little effort in that dip. That little finger is helpful, <laughs> but it's less effort. So when you're gonna go into your dip followers, you're gonna keep your hips up, maybe even point that toe, it's gonna look better. <laughs> boom, and then watch this. If you do it right, look ma, no hands because my left foot is underneath you, it's very safe. All right, Miss Megan, let's dance with them. We're gonna do all the moves to music so you can see how it's all supposed to look, and at the end, I've got something for you that's gonna help you become an awesome dancer. All right, as promised, I have something that's gonna help you become the dancer you're meant to be. It is our full access membership over on our website, socialdanceonline.com. You can try it 14 days free right here. If you wanna learn any of the basics of any of the swing dances, ballroom dances, country dances, it's the best thing we've ever created to help you become the dancer you were meant to be. We love you and we'll see you on the dance floor.